Good evening. Welcome back to Let's Play Life is Strange. So lame. They don't have co-ed dorms here. Yes, because I want Nathan Prescott in the room next door. Good. <laughs> when we left off last time, we were sneaking into the boys' rooms. Nathan Prescott is out uh, somewhere, stomping around town. So we're going to raid his room and see what we can find. Wait here. Give me the signal if Nathan or anybody shows up. I won't let you down, Batmax. Now I just have to find Nathan's room. All right. The Vortex Club sucks ass. Love, Evan. Mm. Evan. Of course. That's why no shits were given. Evan rolls. And what did we just get here? Kate. Uh, what do we have? Supermax, in case you still need it. Oh, Nathan's room number is 111. Kate, you are so awesome. Thank you. I love that you bring out the rebel in me. You already are a rebel, trust me. Always, and please, please be careful, promise. Of course, I'll keep you posted. I know you will. Happy faces. Now then. Courtney. Hey, girlfriend, let me know when you want to come by my room and I'll give you a fashion makeover. Oh, thanks, Courtney. I'm swamped with homework now, but I'll check in with you later. Okay. Oh, that's right. Before we go to the, the party, she's going to help us out with that. Oh, Kate brings it. So, room 111 is the magic number. Good to know. Who would steal cat pics? I think we read this one before. On September 15th, my backpack with all my school books and my new tablet was taken from the cafeteria. Don't care about the school books, but my tablet has a large picture file of my late cats, RIP, so I will pay a cash reward. No questions asked. Please. These cats were my best friends. <laughs> Look at that sad face. Aww. What do we got here? They have one more meeting left. So, casual gamers, your time is over. Join Gamer Guys. Every week we play and analyze a new game. From Call of Duty to World of Warcraft. From strategy to shooters. Game on. Friday's Wexler Media Center, 7pm. Yeah, I feel so bad for her. And her family. That's why you're so hot. Because you care. Ooh, there's another lady in here. Oh, why, hello, Trevor. And Dana. <laughs> Skateboarding is not a crime. All right, we'll leave them be. Showers. I don't think we can go in there, but no. But we gotta head anywhere that we can. Are toilet paper wars mandatory in the dorms? Oh, this is really nice. Welcome to Black Smell. Free glory hole. Charming, gentlemen, charming. Even after Kate, nobody here learned anything about bullying. Oh, this must be Daniel's room. Well, like, wipe it clean or something like we did for Kate. Come on. Oh, jerks. At least nobody messed with the Kate portrait. Aww. Yeah, seriously, Max, can't help him out. Wipe it off. Zach or Logan? Who knows? Bro's got a bro. Bigfoot's got big balls. Classy. Ah, oh, there's his room, so let's look around a little bit more. It's all good in the woods. Ugh, skunkweed and video games. I sense Hayden is near. This just makes me think of Kate. Don't be bullied. We've seen that sign before. In other Hello, places. Hello, Warren's room. Hawking and him make a good team. There is no unique picture of reality. Yeah, we'll send him a little message. I can have a little fun with Warren for a change. I mean, he tries so hard, and I blew off his drive-in offer. Ugh, am I overthinking this? What did we put? Yeah, why would you write that? I thought she was going to write a nice friend message. Not you're cute. Good grief. Don't do that. Leave it alone. He's he's happy with Brooke. Don't don't confuse him at this juncture. Poor Warren. This is the work of Nathan. He's so lucky I'm a pacifist. That is weird stuff. His, 
Nathan is a strange guy. Him with his terrorizing artwork. What a psycho. Sorry, Kate. Looks like one of the jocks did care about Kate. Oh, I wonder whose room that is. Oh, you Bigfoots. All right. Wow, the Prescott's this rule this town. Be Nathan's room. Okay, Nathan. Well, in we go. All right, prepare to be disturbed, because I'm sure he's going to have some creepy stuff in here. Now I need to find Nathan's phone. Or anything with clues. I would think he would probably have his phone on him. That's so cute and ironic. I can't believe Nathan still has it around. The best son in the world. This diploma certifies that Nathan Prescott is officially the best son in the world. June 6, 2006. Ooh, let's look at his camera. That monochrome camera is brand new and costs about six grand. Bastard. Well, his family's rich. I thought Victoria had the photo bling, but once again, the Prescott's rule. Mommy, I love you on a picture of what looks like maybe a goat head or something. Nathan clearly has his fetish down. Hmm. Does he have Rachel Amber kidnapped somewhere and tied up? That is so Chloe. <laughs> hey, asshole, we need to talk or I'm going to tell everybody what you did and you're going to pay, motherfucker. Wow. Oh my god. Chloe. Oh, Chloe. Why does he have this picture? Why? Why would he have this? No, take that, Max. Get this out of his room. I don't think one book can guide the Prescotts. Rage on. A teen parent guide to anger management. Wait, Dr. Bill, didn't we see Dr. Bill books at Chloe's house? For her mom trying to figure out, what was it? Was it marriage stuff or parenting your rebellious teenager or something like that? Whale songs? Maybe this is the only soothing thing Nathan ever hears. Maybe Nathan's the one unraveling the threads, and maybe Rachel Amber tried to stop him, but she needs our help. Maybe he made the whales beach themselves. Probably not, but... Tumor dystrophy. That must be the lamp Chloe broke when Nathan drugged her. And he hasn't bothered to get a new one? What we got here? That looks like a totally fun show. Even Nathan has a light side. Yeah, but it looks like we got more bondage chicks next to it. Damn, Nathan. That's a nice shot. If only all your energy went into photography. It's so damn creepy, but... The guy has his own style. He's he's a severely disturbed individual. I can rewind if he shows up, but I can't count on it. What, is that your way of saying hurry up? I don't think this prescription has helped, Nathan. Not really clear what that is. Oh, what do I got here? Oh man. That dickhead stole one of my selfies. Take it back. Ah, oh, she's not messing with anything. He came into our room, Max, and he messed with all our stuff. Take that Chloe picture and get your own picture back, too. Yes, I would be cool with having this high-tech projector. All right, what's all this? Nathan likes his tortured subjects way too much. Yeah. These films all have a dark pattern. That's a lot of DVDs. Holy shit. That 
That's the gun Nathan used on Chloe. A gift from... Huh. Guns come with owner manuals? I mean, I guess that makes sense. I, I, don't, I have pretty much no experience with guns. So pretty much everything comes with an owner's manual, but for some reason I didn't expect guns would. I thought it was like, you know, the only people who really know what to do with them generally buy them. I could be wrong. I'd cry too if I had him for a father and had to wear that suit. Well, it's obviously a picture that has meaning to him, though. I mean, he's got it on his desk. Someone missing the top of their head. That's really nice. All right, let's see what Nathan hides in here. Let's do. Nathan is way into this party. Bad sign. From Nathan to Victoria. Hey, gorgeous. Let me know what you're wearing to the Vortex this week so I can wear something just as styling and expensive. I'm psyched about going, and I'm picking up some serious party favorites. Well, party favors. I even told my dad to keep the pigs away from Blackwell so we can get wrecked without hassle. If we're going to have an end-of-the-world theme, then let's do it fucking on point, all right? Bastard. Now I remember why I hate you. And why Kate will get justice. Oh. Kate's gone wild, huh? Oh, man. Sean Prescott might be Nathan's real problem. From Sean to Nathan. Nate, I know this has been a stressful week, and your mother and I are here to talk if need be. Just make an appointment any time. Your mother wants Dr. Bill to come out after his book tour, but for now, let's stick to your prescriptions. I need you calm and quiet while Pan Estates is being developed. I know being a Prescott is a burden, and I'll guide you into this room step by step, as did my father. It was hard for me when my dad opened my eyes to our destiny. Our destiny? But you'll thank me someday. Don't worry about Blackwell. This shithole town is going to get an enema along with a fresh brand. I want you to be ready to take over when the moment is right. Don't fuck it up, son. Your father. Wow, that's very encouraging. But... But the Prescott destiny. So what does that mean? Too bad Nathan isn't more like his sister. She sounds awesome. And far away. Christine, don't worry. Tudo, tudo bem from Brazil, little brother. It's been too long since I've heard from you, so please let me know what's going on in your exciting scholastic life at Blackwell. I bragged to all my co-workers in the Peace Corps that my talented bro Nate got a full scholarship to one of the best art schools in the world. Even though I can't always check my mail or phone, please, please, please send me some new photos of campus so I can live vicariously through your lens. I miss you and your pictures. And yes, Mother told me you've been in trouble and Father has been on your ass, but you have to either ignore him or stand up to him. You know I love Dad, Nate, but I'm also in a jungle halfway across the world because of him. He's a bully who inherited power, not wisdom, and the only way to win against one is to fight back. Don't let him change you into just into one just for the family legacy. Too late, already a bully. End of lecture. You're a school, so I just wanted to make you feel at home. Back to the mangroves. Sending out good thoughts. Better write back, or I'll have a jaguar shipped to your dorm. Yes, Nathan sure needs diet pills. This is strong stuff. Extreme diet suppressant. If he has Rachel Amber trapped somewhere, diet so would he give her that so that she's not complaining about starving and being hungry or something? Wild theorizing. I don't know. Wow. Kiss ass much, Principal Wells. About the recent events. Na Principal Wells to Nathan Prescott. Nathan, I'd like to apologize for the recent accusation. Your name and record speaks for itself. Sometimes students will use that to make their own name at Blackwell. I know your father was upset while I have assured him that you would never bring a weapon to school. I don't want you distracted from school, and I'm certain this matter will be settled by the end of the week. If you have any questions, you know I'm always available to talk. Yeah, that's really nice and impartial. Good job, Principal Wells, trying to get to the bottom of things. Okay, well, I mean, I guess that was kind of interesting, but it seems like there's got to be more that we want here, right? Oh, what's this? Nathan Prescott. Oh. All-American teen. We found his porn mag. We can just put that. Wait. No. The read will just tell me what the... He has everything in here except peace of mind. Not that I want to read it, but like if something's hidden inside it or something. I don't think there is, but let's... Nathan Prescott. Be, yeah, or Oops. <laughs> okay, we can get out of that. Um, oh. What the hell are all those marks on the floor? Scoot that seat out. 
Yeah, move the couch. Let's find out what you're hiding. Oh yes, little phone. You are mine now. Now I have Nathan's phone, so I can show it to Chloe. Well, before Nathan comes back. Yeah, let's head out of here. Don't anyone mind me. Alright, Chloe. Let's head out and take a look at what we got here. Damn, Max, you're finally back. I got worried. So, what did you find? His room was clean and creepy. Check this out. Oh, yeah. Boom, Nathan. We got you by the balls, fucker. Well, let's dig in and see what we actually got. Well, first we should get out of here. What are you doing in my dorm? Nothing. You're such a nosy bitch, Max. Stop right there, Nathan. Make me, ho. <clears throat> Max, I got this. Not, not again. Get the fuck out of my face. Guys, there's three of us and one of him. Come on. <gasps> You are so fucking dead! Yeah. Get the gun! Get the gun! Someone get the gun! Um, why would I stop Warren if he's actually doing well? No, I'm staying out of it. He just he just pulled a gun. He was gonna kill someone. Like we we already knew we had him to be a killer. So if we hadn't intervened, he'd have killed Chloe. And now he was totally willing to kill Warren. No, Warren can kick the crap out of him. You like to hurt people, huh? Yeah, he does. Like Max? Like Kate? Like me? Huh? Feel this, motherfucker? Yeah, he has it coming. One minute, could someone please grab the gun? There you go. Cry like a little baby, you jerk. Please stop! Okay, there's a part of me that realizes I'm being really mean because he is obviously mentally unstable. We've seen that. But he's a bully besides. He's down. Hey, come on. Stop. I'm sorry. Yes, we have to go. He's a bully who twice now has tried to kill people. So, no, I'm not going to feel bad now. for him. Chloe. Damn. Warren went full alpha on Nathan, and it was good, but scary. How scary? Nathan beat the crap out of him earlier. Yeah. This really hurts. <sighs> All right, you. No, I can't talk to him. Well? Hey, you brought this on yourself, buddy. You beat on him first. Maybe try being less of a dick to everybody. This is broken. Well. Damn. That was intense. I mean, look at he's still got the black eye. Th thank you so much. For what? For beating the shit out of Nathan Prescott? Yeah. Dude, you rule. I don't know. I kind of went crazy there. Like Nathan. He had it coming. Not anything like him. Good to know. So where are you going? I better stick with you guys. Just gotta say there, where he's he's all like, oh, I kind of went crazy. Like He shouldn't feel bad about it. He came in when a really scary guy who chased his friend before and beat the crap out of him trying to take out his friend was again coming right up on his friend like he was going to beat on Max. And so I think it's... He's, Warren's totally justified in flipping out on Nathan over that and beating him down hard. Because this is the thing. It's not enough to just, like, push him and say, hey, back off. No, he beat him hard. He gave him a beating he's going to remember. And he might turn around because Nathan is crazy and try to get revenge on Warren, or he might actually be afraid of Warren now and leave him alone. And with any luck, that's what's going to happen. With any luck, Warren beat him so badly that Nathan's just going to not want to mess with him again. Probably not. He is kind of crazy. He's got a huge chip on his shoulder. But, I don't know. It wouldn't have done anything to just kind of push him and be like, hey, back off. I'm feeling like he made the right move. Just in case you need me to get my Hulk on again. 
Or should I call the cops on Nathan? No police. Uh, not yet. Uh, so maybe you better... Um, Don't you have plans with me Brooke? and Max have to do this on our own. No offense. It's cool. Whatever I can do to help. What you can do is find out anything you can about Nathan's father. I'm on it. Between the snow and eclipse, I'm assuming the apocalypse is around the corner. And thank you. Seriously. I'll call you later. You better. I'm feeling pretty alpha now. Yes, you are. Man, that guy is so fucking in love with you. I no, know. He's, he's he got really Brooke. Did give a serious beat down to Nathan. Nathan deserved it. Was it was a little scary to watch him do that. No. Nope. Yeah, let's make a date with Frank. Will he even answer you? Frank always answers when he wants money. Like I said, Frank wants to see me right now. Let's not keep him waiting. She could maybe give him the mun, the, the, the mun, the gun in lieu of the money that she owes him. How much is the gun worth? I mean, I know it might not seem like the best idea to arm Frank, but I don't know. She's got her gun back that she needs to give to David. She could say, all right, Frank, I don't have money, but here's this gun. And now we don't need to have anything to do with each other. Seriously, ladies, he's he's got nothing to do with Rachel disappearing. I hate seeing those poor whales like that. Me too. I just think of their families in the ocean out there looking for them. Well, that asshole is going to help us find Rachel. I don't think he knows where oh, she is. What? You'll actually shoot him? Chloe, do not count on my rewind. Seriously. Obviously, I'm not counting on you. That's why I have a gun. And I might even save you someday. About time. I am so going to hate you. There's no way we could have guessed this is what would happen to us when we grew up. I'm looking forward to the day when we can just go on a road trip to Portland. Fuck yeah. You, me, and Rachel. Absolutely. So let's play this cool, okay? Yes. Just talk to Frank so we can get that code for the book from him. That's all. Got it. No dicking around. Let's roll. Mm, she's really conflicted about this. I'm a little worried. Things may not go well. Let's ramble around while she does that. We'll catch up soon enough. Nope, I don't want to go there. Okay. No moving in that direction at all. That's fine. The forest seemed quiet. No sign of life. Do not feed any animals in the forest. Please stay on the trails and ask a ranger if you need guidance. Hello, Oregon nature lovers. Within these woods, you will find a variety of animals, but that doesn't mean they're looking for you. Bears, snakes, coyotes, wolves can be very dangerous. Be careful. Scoop up after your dog. Oh, handy. Oh, is this one? Yeah, it's got the bags and everything. They have these around the apartment complex I live in. It's, it's very useful. What's this? There might not be any pan estates by Saturday. Stop pan estates. Thanks to local industry, the shores of Arcadia Bay are now unfit for fish, birds, and even whales. It's time to stop the pan estates development that is leading to the destruction of jobs, lives, and resources. Join the peaceful protest at the pan estate headquarters. Media and families welcome. Noon, Saturday, October 12th. Hiking trail to the lighthouse. We got an easy trail or a hard trail. No camping. Do not feed the animals. This is where my nightmare started. Yep, yeah, there's the lighthouse. No parking on the beach. No worries, sign. Hi. 
How can all of this not be connected to a major storm? Okay, so what can we do with this whale? There we go. Those beached whales look so awful, but still so majestic. Those beached whales okay, look same so thing. awful, but still so majestic. I thought she might say something different for it different whales. It blows my mind that I was just here with Chloe in an alternate reality. No swimming. Due to recent coastal events, the Arcadia Bay City Council has closed the beaches to any wading, surfing, or swimming. This is for the safety of both the marine life and the public. Violators will be subjected to a fine and or imprisonment. Good thing there are no actual cops around to bust us. Well, what would they bust us for? We're not past the sign. We're not going to swim. We're just going to talk to Frank. Alright, anything on this side of his RV? Frank doesn't need tinted windows when they're this dirty. <laughs> Can't see inside with this shit blocking the view. Well, we'll just knock on the door in a minute. Take the trash out sometime, dude. This is where Frank ponders his existence and gets drunk. Oh, fresh meat. So Pompadou must be okay. Good doggy. All right, I guess maybe he's inside. Chloe looks ready to rumble. All right, let's do this. Oh, look, the Wonder Twin. <laughs> you should have come alone. She's my partner. Yeah, we're bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? Well, I, I don't have the money. Yet. Oh, really? Then why did you text me that you did? Because I wanted to tell you in person. <laughs> oh, I'm truly touched, <laughs> Chloe. Now why are you losers really here? We just want to ask you some questions. You have some serious lady balls. No. Jesus, okay. okay. <laughs> what they make sad faces and but he's I'm not convinced. Getting you high. Frank, we're not here to get high. No, you don't look like the type. Not like Chloe here. So what do you hardy boys want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? <laughs> oh well why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at it? <laughs> he did already, but uh, I don't think we should say that. Um, you don't get it? Uh. Listen, Frank. I'm sorry to be such a nuisance, but this is important. Yeah, yeah, everything's important these days. But I can tell you're not bullshitting me. There's no time for that, Frank. I, I just need a little bit of information. Yeah, yeah, well, it always starts with just a little. And Chloe here knows all about that, don't you? Come on, Frank, this isn't about me now. Yeah, Ladies, right, work okay. in the Rachel angle. Both of you are giving me a headache. No deal. Frank, we didn't come here to fight. This is so much bigger than us. Oh, yeah, you didn't come here to fight. A day after, you pulled a fucking gun on me. Yeah, I might should have not I, done that. I am so sorry about that. It might be the dumbest thing I've ever done. And I've done a lot of dumb things this week. Finally, I believe you. But don't ever aim a gun at anybody unless you intend to kill. Although you don't look like you could kill a bug. I, I try not to. And I never would have pulled the trigger. I was just... D dude, she was scared, all right? You pulled your blade on me. We were all freaked out. Now yeah. we're all cool. Please? Okay, we're cool for now. But my dog is... What do you mean? And if you try any shit, he will bite your head off. He's done it before. We're only here to talk. 
I wouldn't mess with your dog. Shit, you wouldn't have time. You like dogs? Yeah. Chloe and I gave your doggy a bone when we... So you're the <laughs> ones who let him out? <gasps> you broke in here Oop, shouldn't have and said let that. my dog out? What the fuck? Wait, that's not what... Seriously, Frank, don't get all spun out. We're only here to find Rachel. Rachel isn't in here! And I'll spin you on your ass! Can we what go the back? What the fuck are you dorks up to, huh? Trying to break into my business? This time, the price is wrong, skank! Calm down, Frank. Let's just talk. Don't you ever tell me what to do. Get it, bitch! Get it! Set the fuck back now! Guys, guys, rewind, rewind. <gasps> fuck you! You fucking killed my No, dog. no, rewind, rewind, rewind! Oh my god! No, 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 no. Come on, come on. Let me take this all back. No, no, come on, come on. Don't don't play this out like this is an irrevocable choice. No. Chloe. Max I shot a man rewind. And his dog. I killed Frank Bowers. You saved my life, Chloe. It, it was self-defense for both of us. No, this was so stupid. Come on. Max? This is completely unavoidable. Frank is really dead. I know. But we can't stop now. We have to find that code. Fast. Before the co cops come. Rewind! At least try! That's it. Let's get out of no, here. No, no! Sorry, Frank. I'm sorry. What are you... Okay, yeah, go back. Oh my gosh, it was terrible. The dog died, Frank died, everything went awfully. Okay. So, don't say anything about giving Pompadou the bone. We'll just say he's cute. Listen, Chloe. I can tell you for a fact that this will not go well. <sighs> Max, I should have known you would be kind and rewind. So tell me exactly what I need to do here. You won't like this, but you need to get rid of that gun. No, Max, I don't like that at all. But I trust you. All right. And girl, if I need that gun, you better rewind fast. You're just gonna huck it out into the woods? All right. I... I don't... So, we'll skip all this that we already saw... What's this in response to? Whoops. Well, thanks for hearing me out, Frank. Look, we only want to talk, and it's not even about you. We're not here to start a fight. No, that shit would be over pretty fast. Don't fuck with me, and I won't return the favor. So what do you want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Okay, so... Sorry, because that seems to do all right. Yeah, yeah, everything's important. There's no time for that, Frank. Yeah, yeah, well, it always... Come on, Frank, this is... All right, okay. Frank. Oh, yeah, you didn't come here to... I... I... Finally. I... I... All right. Dude, she was... And We're the dog. Only... Shit, you wouldn't... All right. Dog rescue. Of course I do. I heard you even rescued a bunch of fight dogs. That's amazing. No, all right, it was just the right thing to do. I couldn't stand to see those poor animals treated like, like slaves. And that's how I came to own Pompadou. That's very cool, Frank. Your dog is lucky you came along. All right, Maybe much we better. Can focus on rescuing Rachel now. Rachel, is that why you're really here? Yeah. Yes, we're so close to finding her now, Frank. 
We need all the help we can get now. Especially from you. You and Chloe do not know Rachel like I did, and I couldn't even help her. You're in way over your heads. Why don't you just go play in your clubhouse? Okay, if you know her, then... Alright, if we mention the letter, then he's gonna know that we busted in. We could go the bracelet. He's wearing it, so obviously she means something to him. You have Rachel's bracelet. No, that's not you what I... You obviously know more than you're telling. So tell us. Never come into my home and tell Ugh. me what to do. Understand? Man, there is something about you that is so wrong. I don't trust you at all. Okay, it's the wrong thing. Let me go back. Face. We don't have much time, Frank. Rachel needs you. It's too late. She's gone. You don't even know her. Like you did? I loved her, asshole. And she loved me. I know that. Chloe, you don't know shit. You were part of her problem. Always trying to take her away from me. Always. Calm down, Frank. Let's just talk. Don't you ever tell me what to do. Get it, ah. bitch. Get it? How do you like my blade, kid? Huh? <sighs> Chloe! Get off of me! Motherfucker! Oh, and here we go again. Rewind. Okay, how far? I gotta go all the way there? Oh, that's so much conversation to do over. Well. Listen, Chloe. Max, I should have known you'd be. Let's still get rid of the gun. You won't like this. No, Max, I don't like that. All right. I'm botching this all over the place. All right. Let's get past all this. No fighting. Thanks for. No, that shit would. Just the name. Oh, Names of clients. Sorry. Listen. Yeah, yeah. There's no time. Yeah, yeah. Come on. All right. Frank. Oh yeah. I. Fine. I... Dude. We're only all right. Rescue Shit. dogs. Of course. No. That's very. Maybe we can. I yes, thought when I picked bracelet so that what she was going to say Chloe. was something along the lines of "You're wearing the bracelet, so she's important to you." Something like that. We don't want to be accusatory towards him. He knows her. Frank, you knew Rachel almost better than anybody. There we go. And you know more than us. Together, we could find her. Do you have anything to lose? When Rachel vanished, I pretty much lost everything. Then help us find her. I can't her. stand not knowing where she is. Not hearing her voice or her laugh anymore. We can change all that. It's up to you. Help us find her, Frank. Please. We really need your client list. What did he mean, though, that Chloe well, was part of her problem? if there's a chance in hell you two dorks can find Rachel, yeah, I'll take it. My dog isn't barking at you, so I guess that's a good sign. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Frank. Seriously. It's hard to take you characters seriously, but I want to. Good luck. All right. Oh, a much better result. That was cool. Frank gave up the code to help us. Rachel must have seen something good in him. Where'd you go, Chloe? I know you picked up the gun. How far can we go up there? Nope, I don't want to go there. No, nope, that far. Okay, I think we are ready to head back to our car then. There she is.
All right. And I'm thinking this will give us the autosave, right? There we go. Fantastic. All right. I'll go ahead and wind the episode down here. Please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this. Come back next time. We'll see what we can gain from the code we got from Frank. We've got Nathan Prescott's phone. we got to figure something out oh, here. Yeah.